Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode six of Tides of Death. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing fantastic, and I'm excited to learn the secrets that uh, Ferris is. Great. Uh, yes, of this, this oh. laboratory here. So as I was telling Lucas before the session, the laboratory is done. I didn't have enough time to fully make it like a pretty map. The pretty map is still in the works. So instead, I will just give you guys the rough and dirty map because I know how you like it dirty. As, um, long as, you've got, as long as you've got the magic items uh, and the loot written down, Neil, then we're all... I we're do. Sure, yeah, Nick. it's really oh, easy to have okay. written down. Because it's just Shooting. the one Wait. thing. Um, so, you know, not a problem. Before we uh, get into D&D, &D, though, I want to say potato. I also have my second vaccine today. Oh, cool. Ooh, congratulations, ah, dude. Congratulations. congratulations. I got my first. Oh, you got your first? Oh, first yeah, first uh, on Monday. Yeah. Arm okay. was, my, arm was kill my arm was still a bit sore, but... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think just your arm hurts a bit. It's not, not anything less than that. So I'm fully vaccinated now, so that's good. Um, that's in two sorry, weeks, no, you can start doing back. fun stuff. How exciting! Yeah. Oh, we can almost we can almost hug Nick. Yeah, yeah. almost. Like that oh, close to being able to Except hug. for that, you know, straight of whatever it is between you guys, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> the Irish Sea. One thing that I do want to point out: like, how is this for a, a policy, right? So it's Freedom Day two days ago, meaning that yep. there's no longer social restrictions and distancing, and yeah, don't have to wear a mask and stuff like that. So right now, nightclubs are open, and you can go to nightclubs without having had the vaccine. But come the start of September, you will need to prove that you've had the vaccine in order to go to nightclubs. And the reason for this is that not all of the youngest people have had a chance to get both vaccines yet. Now, to me, that's not a great reason because, like, if wait, it's wait, not wait, safe wait. for people to go to clubs without vaccines, then why are we letting them do it now? Like, just let me. So you're telling me at, weeks. at the point of lowest vaccination from here on forward, they are allowing anyone into the nightclubs. But in a little while, when more people are vaccinated, they're going to yes. require. A vaccine, yeah. Yep. It's crazy, isn't it? You couldn't make it up. Welcome to the new comes. vision of England. <laughs> yeah. Rule Britannia, let's go. It's wow. only maritime. So. Wow. Johnson will be conquering Ireland soon. You wait. <laughs> Declaring war on Welcome the Welcome with me, little uh. open arms. <laughs> <laughs> open arms with knives in them? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. Oh, my. All right. So... Let's talk about this base that you guys got. I think that's a nice place to start, and then we can go wherever we want. This place is to scale. Um, all the black areas are uh, rooms. The blue is a waterway, and all the white areas are like you know blocked off, can't get to like zones. mountains. Yeah, no, that's it's yeah yeah. The white is mountain essentially. Um, so this so, is like the. This is like the dock entrance here on the left. Yes, the this is the dock entrance, okay. and it's all to scale. So you can see that it's got like a 200-foot harbor that's maybe like 35 feet wide. Oh, this so entire it has room. entrance? Like yeah, in yeah. Door? Yeah, that's a boat sick. could like that, sail that in right through towards, here. That faces towards the dock though, right? No, this face is northward. Uh, this face is towards nice. that mountain. The The mountain okay. can be seen from this, which must be the main entrance to the, the lair. You guys came in through here, through the wood shop. Um, there is, well, you know it's the wood shop from the historical records, but everything in here is so dilapidated and degraded that it, you couldn't tell that it was a wood shop. Um, this is what we are going to call the main hall for right now. Um, this is a kitchen. There's still little bits and pieces in here. This is where that dripping water comes through, where you can like uh, drink easily. They've got like a fresh source of water. This is some sort of storeroom. This is just like a big exercise hall. Uh, this room, you can't really tell what's going on in here. Again, it's been really destroyed. There's some like equipment that's all rusted and all the wood is rotted away but there's also like a lot of glass lying around like broken glass all over the place and uh, a big you know pile of sand that seems to have broken out of some barrels that must have once held it um similar to down over here there's a bunch of like broken dilapidated metal equipment that has all rusted away and fused together and you can't tell what it was anymore but this this room here and this room here have extensive metal works that are, are ruined. Um, this is mostly empty. Looks like some sort of storeroom that's just attached to your big main hall. This looks like uh, the ruins of a dormitory. This looks 
like maybe this is a once the library this is where all the ruined books are just crumbling and faded away um these two rooms are like tiny little attached studies um this is the teleportation chamber that just goes up and up and up and up and then you can like feather fall down automatically uh, this is a complicated bath room where there's like cracks in the ceiling that water is clearly dripping down in like a, a fairly regular flow so you could just like stand under it and just wash yourself off and in the very back of the area there's some like um, carved out uh, what do you call it? pools where you can like sit and soak in water and there's room for you to like maybe start a fire underneath it to have like a heated bath but that area would have to be cleaned out and have fuel on hand and yada 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 um, nice. These six guys over here all look like some sort of bedrooms. This looks like a super big bedroom. And this part you might have to pay attention to if you weren't already. Um, there are one, two, three, four, five, what we're going to call toilets here. Um, this one, uh, this one, this one, this one, and this guy over here. Maybe I'll circle them for the time Sorry, being. Wait, what? Hang on, hang on. Why do we have to pay attention to the toilets? Because these still have Oops. gelatinous cubes in them. Ah. These are more or less pits in the ground with some sort of scaffolding over them. The wooden scaffolding has long fallen away, but you could see where it would have anchored into the sides and where you'd have like a couple of boards with some holes cut in them. So you could use them as uh, any sort of compost that you would need. Uh, they're maybe like 15, 20 feet deep pits. You know, each one's a little bit different. Uh, most of them are 10 by 10, and there's room to install some sort of board over it that you can just drop your waist down through. And uh, yeah, still yeah, it's living... I, it seems like they can just live forever. Yeah, they, they must be hungry, though, that. at this point. Yeah. Uh, Wait, yeah. are you saying the gelatinous ooze ooze people's waste, and that's how they yes. got rid of it? Yes, yes, it is yeah, a yeah. dungeon monster. Um, normally, these things just kind of crawl around in dungeons. They're usually like 10 by 10 cubes and just feed on anything that they come across. They can digest metal. They can digest leather. They'll ruin your gear if you like uh, fight them because, you know, they'll, they'll degrade all your stuff. Uh, but clever wizards capture these creatures or create these creatures and put them in pits that they can't climb out of and then use it as a toilet. So you don't have to like literally shit in a bucket and then every now and then carry your bucket full of shit outside and chuck it out a window or something like that. Neil, this gelatinous cube toilet thing, did you read this somewhere or has this just come out of your own head? Is this like a, a revelation? You know, at this point, I can't remember. I want to say I invented the idea myself, but I might have heard it elsewhere. I, 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 I can't the benefit that properly recall. I it somewhere else. This, this I, feels feels like a, I don't think that's the benefit of the oh, doubt. I think, no, I think it is. Absolutely. <laughs> Don't you want functioning medieval toilets? Do you really want to simulate having to carry your shit with you and just having like an no. open shit bucket in your room all the time? That sounds <laughs> terrible. Wizards have got to come up with better ways of dealing with poop rather than having just a bag of poop holding or, I think you know, brilliant, Quibu. thank you. It's I think it's a great idea. idea. No, it is a great idea. It's just the idea of a disturbed mind. That's all. Five <laughs> bathrooms is a bit much for a seven bedroom. Uh, seven we can use one as an execution pit to like toss people true. down into Oh, it. true. Ooh. Well, you know, you need a bathroom next to the harbor for all the people that are going to be working in the harbor, right? Then you need a bathroom next That's to true. the main hall, which is attached to the kitchen, because this is where you're going to be eating. So in the middle of dinner, you might need to use the bathroom. This true. is a private bathroom, clearly attached to the most important room here. For this me. bathroom it's is next to the dormitories. And yeah, then this bathroom is next to the like other private guest bed chambers. So like, there's a good distribution all over the place. That's good. Mm -hmm. You know how in like um, the Sopranos and like Mafia stuff, when they're threatening someone, they'll like, like hold them out, out of the window and threaten to like drop yeah. them. We can like do that with the gelatinous too. cubes. Just cubes, yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to get dissolved, motherfucker? Tell me where it is. Nice. You just put their. You could even put their legs in there and just like yeah. let that. Kind uh, of stuff. Oh, attach them to a rope and lo gently lower yeah. them and let them start like getting dissolved from the toes up. Oh, that's mm -hmm. nice. nice. That's yeah. literally, dude. Um, this chamber right here has a spiral staircase going up and down. If you go up, you get to a lookout point. There's like a, a little spire of rock somewhere on the island that this kind of just goes up into. And from there, you can look out um, in four directions and have a, a good view of what's on the left side of the island, what's on the right side of the island, you know, forward and back. Uh, and the staircase that goes down leads to two 
rooms that are different from the rest of the place. Uh, they're each 20 by 20, and you can see that the walls here are like either made out of silver or lined with silver. Um, just like thick, or yeah, I guess you can't tell how thick it is, but silver plating on the ground, the ceiling, and the floors. You know what that I've you can this? roll a... You would have... Your master would have had a silver lined box. Um, so you're probably familiar with what this concept is. But for the rest of you, this room just has silver all over it, and you could chip it yeah. off and, uh, you know, take it home. They're both of them What would I it. know that that is? Unscribable room? Or? Yeah, it, you will block silver and lead, um, especially when lining a room like this, can block the passage of certain spells. Detection mm. spells are usually difficult to get through these things. Um, if you've got, like, a you know, a beacon on something, it might not travel through lead or silver, depending on whatever's uh locate persons usually don't go through that sort of stuff some stuff does go through it's it's kind of a crapshoot but it's a, the cheap version of um, blocking scrying so Is i would the... think that i might be able to like we could round up uh beaconed objects from yeah. the white prince bring them here into the silver room and i would assume that it probably couldn't be detected maybe you probably want to test it before you rely on it yeah for sure okay yeah um, was the, the set of drums, were they in one of these silvered rooms? Yes, the set of drums was in one silvered room, um, kind of by itself. The other room had some broken equipment, some rotted away tables, clearly the remains of some parchment, some broken glasses. Uh, it looked more like a, some sort of laboratory of some kind. Not enough glassware to be properly like a alchemical laboratory, but um, some sort of workshop. Uh, and that is well down into the earth, and then the lookout is well above. Um, and this, for this now at least, legit. is your base, your home. This is sick, yeah. <clears throat> Until someone you else finds it. Like? This feels like uh, getting that base in XCOM that you have to like fix up. You know, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. you have all the rooms. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, you got your launch pad and stuff. So mm -hmm. I don't suppose there's a ship in the harbor, is there? No. Oh, unfortunate. Uh, what level of spell is to do uh, the illusions that are, like, real? The Demi Shadow wall. illusions that are, yeah. are that the reveal level spell breaks? Spell. Oh, it's a level 4 spell, you said? Yeah, yeah regular illusionary walls spells. are a level 4. Okay. I think. I was just curious, because I feel like in the future, we're going to want to, like, put extra walls up or some shit. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so maybe we are all like in the main hall. Maybe there's like an old wooden table that we've like dusted off, and we've like you know dumped all our stuff around there. And maybe that's where we're all standing around after having uh, split off, looting the place. Mm -hmm. And we've all come back empty-handed, apart from Nilrim, who's found these these drums, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. Neil, real quick. Um, I still had a non-weapon proficiency to give myself from yeah. last time. Uh, I wanted to take carpentry. Excellent. Ooh. That Good is a one. great one to take. Um, Do I every add this ship... somewhere on my character sheet? Yeah, under the skills tab, there's a non weapon got proficiencies it. thing. Yeah, I found it. I've got, I can just keep mine spare, Neil. How fast and loose are we playing with the idea of just taking these as and when I want to use them? Uh, yeah, I will need some RP involved with acquisition. Um, so for carpentry, for example, all ships need some level of carpenter or um, cooper, someone who would keep barrel. So it's not unreasonable that um, that Archie would have Archie, yeah. learned some sort of like barrel keeping or some sort of woodworking yep. as an apprentice uh, in that position on a ship somewhere. So that makes sense. We can just add it in. But if you wanted to take like griffin writing, we'd have to like yeah. you'd have to get yourself a griffin at the very oh, least. Hang on a second. That's legit, right? There are griffins here. Yeah, sure. There's griffins in the world. All right, I'm saving it for Griffin writing. I'm saving it. That's it. <laughs> Got him to that. never use his that. slots. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. I mean, airplanes did win the naval war, right? So we exactly. Yeah. Griffin riders. Mm -hmm. Mate, imagine you're trying to board a ship, and next thing a guy in a Griffin takes off from it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't he literally oh. say that there's like aircraft carriers with like Griffins on them <laughs> yeah, in this world? That is yes. Yeah. Yes. There are three of them. Oh. Shit. Uh. Okay, I think we were planning on staying here for like a week or two. I think you guys were going to gonna eat yeah. the lizard yeah. and rest here for a while. Chill. Yeah. And I believe that I was going to learn some spells as well. 
but uh, what do you guys do? We, do? Did we already roleplay finding the drums? Yes. Yes. I did. Yes, okay. I think so. We did. Well, I say we're gathered around this table, right? Um, I mean, I'm still wounded. I think we can hide out here for at least a few days, maybe a week. I'm not sure how long that lizard's going to last us. But um, now that we've found this place, I'm starting to think that maybe keeping Lady Nightingale on our side might not be a bad idea. If we're going to be returning to this place in the future, it might be worth making her think that we're still her friend. Actually, we'll kind of his fists. Although um, I would say this, I'd like to be able to betray her at some point in the future. Uh, she has... Very much so. She Absolutely nearly killed me. No, I, I agree. I'm with you. She's not our friend, but I think it benefits us to make her think that we're still her friend. We don't want... If, if anything we can do to uh, empower her at the expense of the other one so that the White Prince can stay away from this island, the better for us. Be ashamed to have to abandon this place after looking for it for so long. She's not our friend yeah. yet, but she's also not our enemy. I don't think it would be... Obviously, it doesn't sound like you're doing this, but it, wouldn't be, it would not be wise to keep her friendly and as a friend. And I think we can nurture this relationship into something more in the future. Yeah, I'm so not going to lie... If I'm going to have to be friendly towards her, I'm going to need some sort of promise that at some point I'm going to be able to cave her face in with my fists, so... I understand, Archie. Don't worry. I'll keep your time with her to a minimum. But now, at least, until she needs caving in. Um, we need to decide whether we're going to just steal her ship or whether we're going to try and send one of us off to speak to her, tell her where we've buried the treasure, and... Uh... Didn't we already tell her? No. I don't think we ever made it. No, back. I don't think we. I don't think we made it back. Yeah. So I don't think we can just take the ship. I think we'll need to at least tell her that we got the treasure and we're alive and we're taking the ship. Why don't we just take the ship? We don't speak to her because it's going to be incredibly hard to get into town. Um, I think that'd be way too risky. And when we get to our next island or somewhere else, we could just send a message, a coded message to her, kind of explaining what happened in brief. Uh, we know who she is. We know what island she is. We know that she's a Lady Nightingale. It should be able to do pigeon transfer or something pretty easily, no? Well, I think a face-to-face -face meeting at this time is a bit much. Okay. Second problem. Let's say we can get onto the ship without being seen. The mm -hmm. four of us get the drums in place and get moving. We're going to have to be careful of the White Prince's ship right next door. The men on it are always there. If they see us leaving, they'll be chasing us straight away. We need to find some way to stop them chasing us, sabotage their ship, or do something so we can get away cleanly when the time's right. Well, there's usually things like fire, sabotage, cutting the ropes, the sails, anything like that mm -hmm. I think we could pull off. I mean, if we're able to steal a ship, I think we can sabotage another. Yeah, but that other ship's not going to have anyone on it, whereas the White Prince's ship's going to have guards on there. Getting on board to burn the sails might not be that easy. You can cast darkness, correct? Yeah, I can. Uh, and I can cast it on objects, so maybe some kind of object we can throw at the ship and float? get it to stick. Yeah, I think so. What if we did that, Captain? We Wait, did what if we, if we did what, sir? So we take multiple darkness stones. Uh, I don't know how many spells he has, but let's say he can cast three darkness spells, correct, onto objects. We throw them behind not, it's us. It's not permanent darkness, though. No, 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 correct, correct. But it's yeah. probably long enough, right? So we'll throw them. We'll throw one at a time. As we continue to sail away, we'll throw another one. We might turn the ship or whatever. Um, I have fog cloud as well, which I think is 20 feet per cube, 20 foot cube per caster level. So I can do like a 60 foot cube of uh, ghastly yellowish green vapors uh, that move away from the caster at 10 feet per round. Heavier than air and sink the lowest level, even pouring down sinkholes and den openings very thick. So that might be enough to, like, get us far enough away that they just won't know where we went. I don't know. That ship, I mean, how large is the darkness sail? So... Uh, like, I'll just, I'll just cast darkness on, so on, in, like, the harbor so they can see. Mm hmm. Um, okay. I'll, like, so hey, follow like... me. I'll show you guys so you can see what okay. it looks like. Yeah. Because I assume I'll get my spells back. Yeah. yeah so when I see the yeah. darkness, I want to estimate whether the, if the source of the darkness was on the surface of the water, how much would it obscure the vision of the guy driving the ship, their ship? Like, is it is that ship a lot taller than twenty feet or? 
Yeah, so the... The peak of the mast is more than 20 feet above sea level. So someone in a crow's nest would be able to um, look out over over the sphere of darkness if the bottom of the sphere was touching the ocean. How high is it? The crow's nest? Yeah, sorry. And it's if probably like, estimate. you know, 30 feet above the deck. Yeah. So I have fog bank which I could cast, I think, one of. Uh, it would re- it would last, like, eight minutes. It's 60-foot cube in total, and the fog obscures all sight, normal and infravision beyond two feet. It's not 60-foot cube. It's 320-foot cubes. Oh, it's 320-foot well, well, cubes, could, but you I could, could stack you could them stack, or something. I think yeah. you could stack them, though. Yeah. Maybe, actually. I don't know whether you could stack them. I don't know. I feel like some permanent damage to their ship maybe combined with this is the way to do mm-hmm. it. You know, I just the think past... the permanent damage is going to be really hard to do. Well, yeah. I think we should, we need to try and do it from the outside of their ship. I don't mm-hmm. think we can risk trying to board it. So the ideas I had were uh, somehow fucking with the rudder mechanism, swim under the ship, climb up near the back, cut the cut the ropes or the chains that control the rudder, stop them turning. Alternatively, um, I'm not sure if we could make something like this or find it, but dive under the ship and fuck with that hole somehow maybe get a few small holes in it the night before enough to slow them down perhaps well how easy is it to repair holes from the inside because we don't want to do anything they can encounter and deal with easily repairing a ship that's been damaged while at sea is the job of the carpenter or the cooper or if no one else is available the surgeon Uh, and it is definitely something that needs to be able to be done in order to uh, live at sea because you're gonna occasionally something's gonna happen you hit a rock someone's gonna drill a hole in your ship something's gonna break someone's gonna drop something heavy so there are patches that can be applied while the ship is at sea that will prevent it from you know just sinking uh, if the damage is minor enough and if it's not like an ongoing thing, like if you're being attacked and someone's like drilling holes in the side of your ship, you can go about patching them up, but like eventually you're going to run out of patches or eventually you're going to um, just not be able to, you know, a hole will be awkwardly positioned enough that you can't do it. Um, but like a single hole, if someone were to like just punch a hole right through the bottom of your ship, a, a good crew could patch that up and maybe be slowed down a little bit, but keep making forward progress. Yeah, I what think about... they use like wedges of wood as well to like jam into the hole. Mm-hmm. What if they actually like fuck up with like the keel or whatever? Um... So disabling the rudder is a big deal. That yeah. would, the ship would not be able to move forward until the rudder was replaced, which they can in theory do, but it would take Six a while. We, we would be talking like, at the bare hours. minimum, hours, many hours. Yeah. Um, and if the weather is not away. great, uh, it might take a lot longer than that. And if the damage is sufficiently bad and they don't have tool, the right tools and the weather is shitty, they might just be stuck out there until rescue arrives. How hard so, is fucking up a rudder? Well, it's the, the most quick next question is, uh, this kind of ship, is it likely to have a, a chain on the rudder or a rope? So there's like a there's like a, a rope or a chain that connects the wheel to the rudder and controls like how it moves. Hmm. Uh, so is that so rope or chain? It de- on which ship? Their Some ship. ships will have well, their ship. Their big guess, ass clipper basically. ship is going to have a, yeah. Chain. Yeah. a chain. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we think that like somebody could warp wood, a, a rudder, and like sufficiently fuck it up. You would have to be high enough level. I think warp wood says like at fifth level you could fuck up a spear length of wood. Um, so oh, you'd have yeah. to probably be like tenth level or something to really fuck up a rudder Jeez. significantly enough to make it not work. Because even if it's bent a little bit, yeah, like you'll much. find the new balance point fairly easily. What about uh, I don't suppose in any of the storerooms in this place we find any like old bottles of whiskey or vodka or something like that. There's wine. some liquid in yeah. wine bottles but w- as soon as you like uncork it and smell it you can tell it tell it's just turned to vinegar it's um not particularly useful i was thinking if we could make a handful of molotov cocktails and launch them at their ship's sails as we were taking off that might be enough to slow them down yeah Wouldn't burn their ship down i'm sure but how do you get the glass them? bottle to break on a sail well, you throw it at the base of the sail so that the fire catches them. So you throw it at the mast. But aim for the mast perfectly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you that's wouldn't a, be able to... That's a precise throw. I, I'm a good throw. 
you wouldn't be able to I hit the sails. It. You might be able to hit a mast, and it would take a while for the flames to then reach sail height. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Uh, wow. I just want to point out that flames on ships, we've done this before, and <laughs> Quog was not generous with it, Nick. No, I understand uh, it it's takes not going to burn the ship time. down. Yeah. But, it, but if they spend an hour and a half replacing the sails and putting out the fire, like, that's mm -hmm. enough for us to get away. Sure. Uh, how do we feel about just, like, darkness? I'm, like, I, I don't know. If, how long does it last? Uh, it's it's like, one hour per level, I think. Like, if, if the entire ship is engulfed in darkness, like, it, it, it can't be that easy to operate, right? You, I suppose we could throw one on the top of the crow's nest. And yeah. one at the one at the wheel. I think wheel. you can just cast it on the ship. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The ship's bigger than the 20-foot radius sphere. So it needs... Yes. So you could, like, darken one, we... one area of it, but not the whole yeah, ship. Yeah, but we would know... We would kind of know which area would be, like, crucial to darken, so that's kind of, like, really... What if I just... Right? What if I, I just have multiple castles, cloud it. so... That too. I, the other thing I don't know is if other clerics can counter my light my they darkness can. spell. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. they can. A light yeah, spell will break point. a darkness spell. Yeah. yeah. A light spell will negate it. The fuck cards only mm -hmm. last seven minutes. That's not going to. That's get true. Either. Yeah, but yeah. it would be long enough. So I'm going to argue that we have a drum, and that is going to be way less intensive than like people like rowing. I think that we should, on average, be able to just like book it. And there's a reason that they took the lady ship and not their own to the other island. It's because yes. it's the fastest. Yep. So I don't think that we should oh, worry too much about the other ship casting, catching us. Um, we've dealt with the wizard. We've dealt with the big cleric. The only person that we should actually worry about is the inquisitor of the town, who, if we try to fuck with that ship, is going to be the one who's going to fuck with us. So I yeah. think our best bet is just steal a ship, fog cloud it. That'll buy us like seven minutes because they won't be able to see within two feet of them to like get the shit up. Um, and then we can just drum it away. Well, then I think the biggest challenge we have is subduing the crew of the lady's ship and getting the drum onto it. I don't even know if she has a crew on there. I don't think she has a crew on there now. Or, or, or you whatever can, White Prince's crew is on it. You well, can uh, head out and actually literally look out at it right now. You can yeah. see it from the wood shop floating in the water, and it appears there are three people aboard the long ship. That's easy. That's fine. Archie can deal with them. We'll get the ship moving. Exactly. Right? We'll throw them overboard in the dock. Somebody will save them. We'll be fine. Cool. I mean, if you uh, everybody to, has full around, armor cast on them. Down. Just heads up. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, All right I'll, then. I'll so I guess we. If you need. I guess we just chill out and then we try and come up with a plan to get from here to their ship. I mean, I suppose we just go at night in the rowboat. I think we can go at night in the rowboat. <clears throat> I, again, I could do the fog thing. Well, you guys are waiting um, for a couple of weeks, right, to heal up. I mean, at least at least a week yeah. mm -hmm. at least one week yeah okay so the conditions on the ground will have changed by the time a week passes so let's uh not spend a bunch of time planning something yeah. out quite yet uh is there anything you want to do during the downtime that you're here uh, i want to research mm, what do you want to research uh i don't think research is the right answer i want to learn a spell okay or, right that thing. makes way more uh, sense yeah yeah it's gonna be continual light i believe you have the spell book of I that Eros. Uh, Eros, yes. So you can learn these spells. Uh, continual light is learnable. You have a minus 15% chance because of your specialization. Yeah. So your total chance to learn chance, is yeah. 70. Real quick, how long does entangle last? Wow. Ooh, not quite today, yeah. buddy. I think like mm. half an hour. But could you entangle the rudder? No, because there's no we'd grass. We'd have to throw like five. Well, no, hang on. If there was like some large kelp down there, maybe you could. If there was kelp reaching all the way up to the base of the ship, then entangle would probably work on the rudder. But it would the rudder would have to be like in and amongst kelp already. Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna be here a while, Quibi, right? You will be here. That's you guys are here for a week. 2D2? Yes. That's two D two. Uh I'm also gonna try wizard lock. Ten minutes. So that would give us a ten minute chance. Did you fail me? I mean, you, you can try it, right? Like, if there there oh, might just be enough it. kelp. Yeah, uh, maybe. There you That's go. That's a fail, too. That's a fail, too. Ooh. What was the I'm second like, one? So <laughs> uh, that was wizard block. Okay. Hey. Oh, and then two. How much HP do you have? Like, nine. Oh, shit. 
So yeah, that is six living. days of spell learning for you. You didn't get either of them. Uh, one of the things you will notice is the the doors on those two silver lined rooms downstairs are still intact. Most of the other doors here are rotted away and ruined and broken and you just kind of like walk in between rooms without any real sense of privacy. But the ones downstairs are still intact. They are, um, a- the doors themselves are lined with silver, but the weight of them lets you know that either there's like a stone core or mm-hmm. lead line lining or a lead core or something like that to these massive heavy doors that still manage to sit on their hinges well and on top of that the doors are silenced that is to say if you pound on the door um you won't hear any sound coming from the door and if the door is (laughs) shut i mean they're big fucking doors you probably wouldn't hear anything from the other side anyway but you can tell that there's magical silence on those doors which makes them completely soundproof very cool you probably didn't want you know people listening in so I think over the week, if uh, Nilrum's going to be learning spells, I'm not sure if Sale has clerical things to do, but I suggest that at least Archie and I um, spend some time cleaning this place up, we'll clear out some yeah. bedrooms, maybe use his new carpentry, cut down a couple of trees on the island and make some boards for the You guys don't toilets. have axes, you don't have saws. You would place. need proper equipment to turn this into a, a properly functioning mm-hmm. base. In fact, you'd probably need crew to man it in order to, like, keep it up and man the kitchen and prepare okay, things okay. Fair, no fair enough but we can clear out a few bedrooms totally you know, like yeah, yeah. Dust, dust them down nilrum will be learning spells in this room mm, mm-hmm. that's where you don't have up. to i don't want to have to argue about this but it's clearly my room so that sounds like <laughs> something we need well, to argue about because this yeah. right here is the the master bedroom clearly this it has a wizard's. private bathroom this is the wizard's no, no, home no. you know the captain's quarters you mean is what it is. i'm gonna I'm gonna approach Archie with a proposition that we share the room, and if the other two disagree, we beat them up. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, um, I, listen, on a ship, that's it's right. Captain's choice. Captain gets the best quarters. <laughs> that's right. It'll be the same here. That is the argument that I will make. On a ship, John Winners, <laughs> you will have the best room. However, this is a wizard's laboratory. This is the room for the wizard. The laboratory is clearly downstairs with all the silver on the walls in the room. That's the Clearly, laboratory. this whole place is the, labo- the laboratory. And this is Captain's Quarters. If you've got a problem with it, you can take it up with Archie. All right, we've already decided. <laughs> I won't be using the the bongos. You want to go? Then. You want to go right now? <laughs> I'll, play, I'll play you for it in a game of uh, dice, Captain. It was a good cool. campaign, That's everyone. Nice I really enjoyed it up till now. I'll see you guys <laughs> with new characters next week. <laughs> Everybody roll the new shit. <laughs> um, will you leave it to chance, Captain? No, I won't leave it to chance. It's not how nah. these things work. You can go back to those, researching. You can get both oh, those sounds like, down there. sounds like you're a coward, Captain. You won't don't gamble on the dice. Come on, Captain. Have, a little bit I of gambling. Nothing, I've got nothing to win. It's already mine. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I've put in as much work as you in this party. I feel like I deserve a chance at the best room. Yeah, but now we maybe Sale deserves the room as well. All right, I don't appreciate this kind of mutiny on the first if, day at our new base. If the three of us can't decide, maybe we should just give it to Archie. How about that? Okay, <laughs> I nod. For, for now, Archie can have it. I'll agree to that. I think he deserves yeah. it. He deserves it. Archie, you can have it for now. Archie will nod, um, <laughs> knowing full well that he's going to be convinced by you to give it over to you again. <laughs> Yeah, right. No, I'll let you sleep there for now. It's dusty anyway, <laughs> right. once we've cleaned it up. Uh, have you guys all healed a full then? If it's been six a days. Week. Oh, we yeah, get two know. HP a day? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm full. Healed, I just don't know what your HP is. I, was, I needed six, so. If we do get two HP a day, then that's enough. Oh, uh, right, yeah. It's six days anyway, so it's enough. I'll spend most of my time, uh, I'll probably spend the first couple of days just like searching it, seeing if there's any like murals or any hints or any like references to like undersea creatures of some kind that may have magical powers. Like the library is useless. It falls apart in your hands. These books are thousands of years old, left in a humid environment. Um, they're moldy. Yeah, no scream, you don't it's a them. mess. Yeah. That is a yeah. good point though. Um, if I see Sale doing this, maybe on the walls there's some sort of murals or something like that. Maybe we can... If we clean like, the dust off the walls, perhaps? Yeah, you can clean the dust off the walls, and there you will come across a portrait in the library of a man. A man wearing red robes. Um, no hat. 
long brown hair uh, that's pulled back behind him in a ponytail, but he's like, his head is three quarters turned, so you can see the, the ponytail coming off his back area. Um, these are no super, idea who he is, but he's super there. famous wizards, right? You've never heard of these people. Oh, I haven't heard of these people either. Okay. No. Well, I think me and Sale find this. Sale, what do you think? You reckon this is Leomond or Faris, one of these two? I have absolutely no idea. But I mean, if you have a portrait that's lasted however long this place has been here, you must have been an important guy. Maybe it's a magic portrait. Um, does the portrait move Harry Potter? No, uh, it doesn't. But it's <laughs> also like, like a on it. <laughs> no, there's no plaque, but it's clearly some sort of um, painting on the um, on a canvas, or no, actually just on the wall itself. And like the paint is clearly chipped away and cracked and like peeling off. It's okay, uh, right. sale, sale. Watch this. All right, they think they can trick me. No chance. I lift the portrait off the wall, Neil, and lock the safe behind it. Come on. I know it. It's painted on the walls. It. It's not oh, on. A, it's not a hanging portrait. Sorry. Just peeled this artifact of art <laughs> off I the wall. I go and Captain, try and take what are you off. doing? <laughs> Sorry, I got confused. I thought it was. I don't know what I thought. <laughs> this painting could be worth thousands of gold in the right hands. Perhaps. Yeah. Maybe we should peel off. I, I think we should get like someone who's an expert in this kind of thing. You don't need expertise to know you can't peel paint off a wall and then have it be intact and sell it. Bullshit, because um, what's that guy, that street artist, Banksy? Yeah. They did They did that with one of his paintings. They peeled it off a wall and sold it for 300 grand. <laughs> did they peel it off a wall or did they take the wall? What if we just sold the entire base? We I could make cool. so much money. That's, That's like true. true. I mean, that Although that kind of transaction would be like someone yeah, dying have... for that transaction. Yeah, yeah, we just have to just have to find someone who's very interested in having a base close to this island. That's also a wizard, and who can cast spells that you need to access yeah, well, the base. Yeah. True. Yeah. Sure. Maybe like maybe me. we're actually the people that this is the most valuable to. You could sell it to the White Prince. I'm That's sure he would have a, a use for it. Yeah. Maybe we I don't, don't give it to Order Hitler and uh, give it to someone else instead. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. Um, I just try and clean up a few of the bedrooms, Neil, so mm -hmm. that people have places to sit totally. and sleep. And then, the uh, yeah, that's what I do with my time. Yeah, and you can gather some loose debris from the outside to try and make something passable as, like, a, a comfortable bed, um, since there's no proper furniture here. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Looks like Nilrum tries to learn some spells. <clears throat> Everyone else hangs out, rests, butchers giant lizards investigates the place, gets a feel for where everything is and how it all functions and operates. Um, you know that you won't be able to exit and enter without Nilrum to open the the door for you, um, to sort of like create uh, an opening. So That's you right. have to be a little careful for your getting around. Nilrum's um, needed around here, is what Corb was trying to say. It is a magic wizard base. Respect. Yeah. Yeah, we we need a wand of reveal door immediately. <laughs> yeah. Could I theoretically? Can no. they can they walk out like right now? Yes, you or can exit, but you wand. can't come back in. It's so like a, a one way. Pick someone up and like drag them out if I wanted to. Yeah, if you okay. could drag someone out, you could like essentially kick them out without them being able to return. That's pretty cool. Um, in That's fact, cool. on that point, I have added some boxes to a couple of rooms. Yeah. Um, those are the transparent areas where you can exit or if you have the reveal spell, enter. Mm, okay. Awesome. So, you know, there's one right where the ship is. There's two on the south side. There's um, one in that room with the broken glass. And then there are two in that top left room. Um, is way there one up going there. up to the top? Uh, uh, you see there's like a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Place there's like the a, a lookout tower via... Um, this no, room right here like the, like the patio outside where it looked like it was for entertaining people i meant like i thought there was like a patio on the top like yeah it was oh uh, right right before we came in uh yeah. no there's no exit there that must just be a mundane patio that you access via normal methods uh, okay okay so you, oh yeah because there was a blockway i think okay right right <clears throat> i um, will spend some times in the evenings neil looking at the light situation in the harbor do i feel like well how much moonlight would I need to reliably sail our sailboat to Nightingale's ship from here? Is there enough light coming from the city? 
or would I need it to be like the city is not going to produce any light of of what significance? About light? light on the other guy's ship, on the White Prince's ship, would be enough maybe to guide us towards where we're trying to if go. If there's even one light in the middle of a night, you will guide you to that ship, no problem. So usually mm, they won't leave it. lights on the ship all night long, but in the evening, it's possible that there will be some lights on it. But mostly people, you know, go to bed at night. Depends how safe the harbor is. I assume there's no like things that you need to dodge. Well, this brings us to the next point. Nighttime and lights in the sea. When, Whenever it is that you guys do go to gaze out over at the harbor, at the ocean, at Port, Port Ferris, beyond, uh, at nighttime, you will see in just a little bit off of the harbor of Port Ferris, there are lights under the water. Um, you can't make out what they are. You can't make out any details, but there's just a, sort of like a glow coming off the seafloor outside of Port Ferris. And it's there Weird. every single night. You seen that, Nilra? What do you think that is? Some sort of magic? Oh, you want Magical... an arcana check is what you're telling me? Magic lighthouse? Uh, would I have any idea, Quibu? It's lights under the ocean. Yeah. I... Flights under the ocean. Uh, Does it look like it really deep down, or is it just kind of like near the surface? It's definitely not near the surface. You can't tell if it's like at the sea floor or if it's above the sea floor. You'd need to be closer to really get a, a good view. Um, but it's not on the surface. It could just be, <laughs> normally use a big word, bioluminescent algae, <laughs> Captain. I guess so, yeah. Never seen anything now, like that before. How are we going to steal this ship? I, you know, they know thieves are coming, right? Mm -hmm. But they don't know what we, they don't know that we're planning to take Nightingale's ship. That's true. It's true. I say we do Unless it during the night. The night time crazy like idea. Last time. Yeah. What are how are we going to row over there? We have our rowboat, yeah. Yeah, yeah, inside the robots, yeah. Well, okay. I think uh, I think I wouldn't have any problem rowing the boat. When uh, I beat the drums, does it make like a loud noise, Quibu? Yeah, it sounds like drums. Okay, so if if I'm like <laughs> rowing with the drums, people are obviously gonna hear it. They'll hear distant drums. Okay. Are the are the specters that steer the ship? Do they like glow in the dark at all? They uh, give off a small amount, like probably not enough that you could see from a great distance, but if you're near them in the dark, you would see them. Um, okay. So I would say uh, they give off a very faint amount of light. If you yeah. were... Would it be... Yeah, so if someone's like standing on a ship and you guys are rowing towards them, um, if your ship were otherwise darkened and didn't have any sources of light, they would be able to see you from... It, I would make them roll a perception check, but in theory, at like a like hundred feet would be when they could in theory first notice you somewhere around there if you had a ship with more specters uh, the light would be brighter and in a ship with less specters the light would be dimmer can you explain how, how the specters look do they are they like bony or is it like full on flesh uh, it would be full on flesh but the details not that great they don't have like clear lines of muscles and individual yeah. facial features it's sort of um, nondescript ghastly not ghastly, a uh, ghostly looking outlines. So, uh, sort of almost like clay men, like they're they're kind of a, not fully defined. Yeah, that's a good way of putting does, it. Does this seem like evil at all? Like, do I feel like maybe this wizard like trapped these souls and now they have to like work for him to like anytime he calls upon it? That's not uh, a bad idea. That might be the situation. Maybe these are <laughs> literal souls that have been bound to the inside of this drum and they get called out to row when needed. Or maybe it just produces spectral force like yeah. um, like an Unseen Servant. It, it could be either one. Or maybe some other force of magic at work. How how much do you want to know the answer to that question? <laughs> uh, I think Nilram's like pretty infinitely curious on that one. Um, it would be pretty cool either way uh if it was the other one these are either really evil people or the wizard is super evil like imprisoning people just to do his bidding 
Uh, could go either way. I'm not sure. It's pretty interesting Just the to learn about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> um, um, how close is the White Prince's ship to our ship, to Nightingale's ship? Is it a matter of 30 feet or is it like 200 feet? Or... Oh, they're probably like, you know, 400 feet between each other. There's a good distance okay. between them. So far enough that they wouldn't see the specters. If Do you we went to like the... the long ship, you probably would not see the specters on the other, from the, the, the clipper. You probably Do wouldn't we... notice a ship moving either. In the middle of the night? From that distance, in the middle of the night, no shot, yeah. In the middle of the night, you probably wouldn't even be able to see one ship from the other ship. Um, you know, unless the moon happened to be going down right behind one of them, or hmm. or someone were to light something aboard the ship. I mean, there's a reason we have the expression, ships passing in the night. Right. So maybe discretion is the better part of valor. Yeah, perhaps then. Get in there quietly and out quietly. And we just use the magic the darkness and the fog if we the, if they do catch on and give chase yeah i like that approach um i feel like we've been very noisy as we've approached many uh situations here on this island and maybe our departure should be quiet noisy is one way to describe it so yeah i'd agree things got a little bit out of hand at the top of that mountain um, i was thinking more about that time you killed that cleric <laughs> oh well that was very quiet trust me it may have caused some noise after the fact but at the time they were none the wiser. Say, <clears throat> I didn't grab any rope back on land. Um, anyone got any rope on them? If we need to climb on board this other ship? I uh, did not bring rope with me. Anyone? Archie? Nilrum? He's not 18 intelligence there, Nilrum. You remember to bring some rope? No. Uh, I don't think I have any rope, no. I have Should the ship have does the ship have netting down the other sides of it? I mean, actually, we do have rope technically, uh, because we you, we straddled you all and like carried you around. I don't know if Cole would be generous enough to like let me have that on my character sheet now, but I made it a point to say like uh, when we were dragging you out, I mm -hmm. roped him to a bed and then was like dragging him. So mm -hmm. I don't know if it's gonna be like a ton. You probably of still have the rope. I think 10, 15, 20 feet of rope. Yeah, you would need you maybe like. 50. 10 feet to go around each person, probably close to 20 feet to wrap each person, and then you would probably carry the other 30 feet. So I think you've got two sets of 50 feet of rope at this point. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. So I think we rowboat to Nightingale's ship. Oh, like question. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us the phases of the moon and where we're at? Yes. Because if we're, I... if we're about to be like in a significantly yes, darker that's... phase in a few days. Yeah. I was waiting for a moment in the conversation to bring this up. Um, by the time you guys are rested up, it will be Wednesday, the 15th of May. On Saturday, the 18th of May, in four days, will be the full moon. So with the amount of moonlight available at this point in time, it's quite possible that a good lookout would see you coming from a, a solid distance. So there's no so, reason not to wait. Wish, a few yeah, days. we should wait. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to wait for the next new moon, that'll be in like two and a half weeks, and then it'll be as dark as possible. But do we not need some lights to be able to navigate? We don't need as dark as possible. I don't think. Okay. I think a, a nice like medium, so like a week from now. Yeah. would be fine yeah. probably well a week from now is going to be the same as right now because the full oh, moon is like four days out so um it's either wait it's either you could go now or you could go in like a week and a half or two weeks but anywhere between now and a week from now is going to be the pretty much the exact same lighting conditions i think going now is fine yeah do i feel like the moonlight last night would have been dark enough for us not to be seen it's not a binary state it's going to be a, a role modified by visibility. So a cloud clover and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I'll also. I, and I need reveal to get us out, correct? No, you no, can walk out. Us. You just need oh, reveal to get in. Okay. I can also fog cloud, mm -hmm. um, which at night, it's going to be incredibly hard to see. And fog is normal. I Absolutely. Yeah, okay. a yeah. Blanket of fog, even with good moonlight, will just look like a dark patch. So yeah. but you can you can blanket enough fog to cover our entire journey. Uh, oh, sorry, wrong one. Corbin can explain this to me. I think so. 
So uh, as let's... a fog bank, the spell creates a fog of any shape and size up to a maximum of 20 foot cube per caster level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's more than 60 feet to the ship, right? Oh, no. What I was saying is the issue is going to be probably when we're on the ship, oh. like it moving. So I could blanket a fog cloud and help our us leaving. Right, so that, I this area here, the the wind around here is going to be considered mm -hmm. a moderate breeze at all okay. points in time. Um, or it averages to a moderate breeze. Sometimes it's a little faster, sometimes it's a little slower, but on average, it's moderate. Uh, this is a moderate, so not a strong breeze. Correct. correct. Yeah. So it'll reduce the duration of the spell by 50%. So that will last you four rounds plus your level three, so three. five... Or uh, no, uh, I can do math. Seven divided by two is going to be four rounds then. Four. Yeah, yeah. So it'll last me four rounds. So we'd have four minutes of fog cover. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been checking on the lookout over this time. Do I see any little ship rowboats milling around the island? Because, I mean, yeah. the White Prince's clerics saw us retroactively realize that it was always in a rowboat. Like, it might not be beyond the realms of possibility that they pieced out that this is where we were going. I mean, it's unlikely, or it's mm -hmm. possible. So it's I don't want to. I don't want to say we we wait for two more weeks if we get found, you know. But I do think that if if there's no risk of being found, to me it makes more sense to just wait for the perfect night. I'm probably cool with that. Archie, oh. Sale, what do you think? Uh, I have two things to say. Uh, when did Neilrum talk about like the alignment of the drum with us? Uh, the alignment of the drum. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, you know, like we probably we... would have brought it up at like dinner or something when we're eating some stupid uh, lizard. By the way, I was thinking. Yeah, I'll... maybe maybe this drum is just comprised of the souls of a hundred dead men. Yeah. <laughs> I time. like um, I like put my hands on the drum and uh, you know, say I'll find out for you. Don't worry. I'll talk to my god. Put my hands on it and I'll cast no no alignment on it to see if it's evil. Ah. Uh, Let me just take a quick look at the text yeah. of no alignment. Would a magic item have to have a personality to be considered evil? Or can it... I Here, I'll post it for you. Uh, you know, if it's made up of the souls of dead people who are trapped in a... Yeah. That would definitely be an evil thing. Yeah. Makes sense. Read the aura of a creature or aligned objects. Cast must remain stationary and concentrate on the subject for a full round. Yep. Um, so this does not radiate any alignment. This does not appear to be an evil drum. Okay. Question. Have there been fireflies flying around on the outside? If I look no. Up okay. Um, All right. What was the other question you wanted? Sorry. Should we, should we go tonight or should we wait for like two weeks when the moon will be less bright and go then? If you want to wait two weeks, no one can do some spell learning and I can try beacon. And darkness, fifteen foot radius. If you want, I'm not uh, first waiting as long as we're not at risk of getting found. That's the only thing. But I think yeah, we'll we, the will we be able to navigate it all if it's super dark? Like, I, think, I mean, there's like lights on the shore and stuff, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe some lights on yeah. their ship. We know kind of relatively where Nightingale's ship is compared to yeah. their ship. Archie's so, a skilled rower. He's he probably thinks that he can do that at night, so mm -hmm. he'll be in favor of waiting. Yeah, if, and you, I think guys, if you guys wait, it'll be really good. My my one worry with waiting is that the situation on those ships might change. Maybe more ships come. Maybe one of those ships leaves. That's um, true. There's kind of we have like a good window here that we should seize if we're worried about that. I mean, we did kill several moderately yeah. important members of the White Prince's Order. <clears throat> Sales right, yeah, and we've you know killed the nobles' guards and ransacked their house as well. Yeah. Um, well, you can do your research on the ship once we get going, right, Nilgrim? That in itself isn't a great reason to wait. Are we allowing ship research in this campaign? Ship research? Yeah, like if I want to research on our ship when we're traveling Oh, oh, around. oh, okay. Not researching spell ships, learning. but no, you want like to learn learning. on a ship. Uh, yeah. As long as the weather is fairly easy, it should be fine. Yeah. If you are going with the current... Uh, on the outer ring and it's not particularly bad weather and you're in a fairly stable boat sure but if you're like in a rowboat 
you're probably not going to be able to do it. If yeah. you're on like a yeah. nice big fat fucking ship, you could totally do it. If you're on the longboat that you're looking at stealing, uh, we might have to make you like some sort of checks in order to do it on the longboat because that's not like it's a it's a ship designed to be fast, not a ship yeah. designed to be comfortable. I'm also going to have to be the one probably doing the navigation proficiency checks, so that is mm -hmm. going to eat into my researching. So, uh, well, let's say yeah. for now, no spell learning, but for, if you get, now, like, no. a big cozy ship, then yeah. then totally. Mm. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, it's up to you. I could learn beacon. This could maybe help me understand magical items more um, and wall of fog, but I'm also 100% fine just going now. It doesn't make a huge difference to me. Just heads up. What do you, what do you think, Archie? All right, give me usage. Sorry, it's about an hour going in two weeks, right? Yeah. Yeah. I generally think the darker the better. I don't think there's a big downside to waiting. I don't, I don't think so. My own, I mean, if the White Prince leaves, it's not a big deal. If more men come, that's an issue. If Lady Nightingale gets bored of waiting and does something else with her ship, that's a really big deal. Well, it's a win-win yeah. for Lady Nightingale right now. Either we're dead... She's gonna know. She's gonna know we're not dead. They're still looking yeah. for us. I'll, I'll I'll trust the captain with strategic decisions like these. Yeah. I, yeah. Norm doesn't care either way. It's fine. Either way, she's chilling. It's up to you. So Neil, I'll again. I mean, I feel like there would be a chance that we would get spotted sit, rowing to the the ship we're trying to take. Sure, but if you wait two weeks, like these boats have purposes that get filled, right? In two weeks. If they haven't found you, they might move on. Lady Nightingale's ship might be purposed for some other task and then go off and do that thing. Like, these things aren't going to sit here undisturbed forever. Okay. But if you wait I, a couple of weeks, I, it'll be darker. So where, where do you want to take I, your gamble? I spend this last day in the lookout, kind of like watching the comings and goings on the island. And... Uh, seen a lot of things moving people going on the ship realizing that there is a crew at least a small crew stationed on nightingale ship that i think on the balance it's probably better to just go for it tonight just in case anything changes so i guess i'll come to norm and say i don't think it's worth the risk staying we can find two weeks with the next place we stop i think it's better we just move on not by me uh all right okay i'm gonna learn i'm in for the day, I guess. Uh, fog cloud, magic mm -hmm. missile, enlarge, and I don't know. Fist of stone. No, two magic missiles. Nice. So I think this day we get ready, we gather our supplies, the drum, all of our stuff. We get the boat ready in the harbor, so that probably means well, we probably already have done this. Someone going out and dragging the boat up the island. The um, boat was room. brought in with us, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah, we had already so brought the boat in. It it, the it's already inside, yeah. We can yep. just move it. Uh, <clears throat> should I also declare the spells I'm taking with me before, like, a day? Yes. Yes. Uh, you should always I, know I what spells you have before. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I I, I, but I've, I've just been marking them in my character sheet, but not, like, saying them. It's, it's nice, nice to say them. It's nice for chat as well. Yeah, I'll bring I, I, uh, I one bless, one entangle, two lights, a chaos ward, a dust devil, and a hesitation. Nice. It only becomes a problem later when you have like fifteen <laughs> spells spell. to rattle off, or like yeah. 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 I usually just write it in the chat friends. and post it. Yeah. Like I, I usually just do like this, like level one magic missile times two, level two, in in oh, sorry, in this. I just post it like that. Yeah. At the start. Of the uh, day. Yeah. I just want to know like best practice and stuff, but that that's, that works. Um, How much are these ships worth? Like, like are we cash talking, like, value um, wise? Ten, like are we talking like tens of thousands of gold or like a hundred thousand gold for like a, a long ship or whatever? Well, it was like a hundred gold for one of those small little boats, right? Row boats. No, it was a hundred silver, yeah. wasn't it? It was a hundred thousand silver. A thousand oh, silver. Thousand no, you're right. Yeah, it was. Yeah. God, that guy got rich. Well, he's got to buy a new one. <laughs> he got even. Um, yeah. A the long ship, like the one that you are contemplating stealing, would be a hundred and fifty thousand silver. Um, nice. Jesus. The ship that um, Lady Nightingale's got, the clipper, not Lady Nightingale, the clipper ship of the White Princes is probably closer to 300,000 silver. Okay. 
How much was the ship worth that sunk on the way here that we were going to sell and sell on? The brand new top of the line warship. Yeah, yeah, that's probably in that 300,000 range era cool. area, but it was also a little bit more like decorative and fancy. It was sort of like the pride of the Navy. So even if the baseline model for that ship would be around 300,000, then that ship itself was probably, you know, I heard. 30 I heard. or 40% more expensive just because of the finishings, the decorations, you know, all the good I stuff. Sales Captain Winters, right hear me out. Yes. Okay. No room. The long ship is one thing. But that clipper, that is a fantastic ship. That would solve all of our problems. <clears throat> what if we pretended to steal Lady Nightingale's ship? We acted like something was wrong, like our what, whatever we were doing isn't working anymore. Our ship goes dead in the water. They all board us. We board them and just immediately go. And we could sabotage the long ship instead. Give them the old switcheroo. Give them the old switcheroo. <laughs> I don't think they'll board with the entire crew. I don't know. It feels too risky to me. As, okay. as much as I love your ambition, how many people are even on that clipper? You've yeah. seen we would be the finest a sergeant at seen. arms and many men on that ship in a defensive position back when you were near Port Ferris. Yeah, no. you're crazy. We're, ta we're taking the small ship. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. We'll get one. We'll get a ship like that one of these days, though. No, don't worry. All I'm saying is <clears throat> that that clipper ship is probably fully stocked with food, uh, supplies for the entire journey. Sure it is. Yeah. We put those guys on a rowboat, those three men. We have them. You guys have seen Pirates of the Caribbean. This is literally I mean, yeah, I've seen yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. <laughs> you put them, we put them on the rowboat. They row over. They're stealing the ship. They're stealing the ship. They're stealing the ship. We get on the and new I, ship. And I always thought it was dumb how they <laughs> took their entire crew to the other ship and didn't leave anyone on board. <laughs> Even if they left like three people, we'd handle them. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I, I think it's too risky. We should I agree, it's pretty plan. risky. Yeah. And we need to leave tonight if we're doing it, so we haven't got time to plan for something else. All right, let's go. I, I, I love the plan, but I think too many things have gone wrong for us. Yeah. Although we're all still alive, Sale. I could have gone much worse. You know what? You almost weren't, okay? Many times. Twice. Twice. Thanks to you, Sal. I'm still here. Okay, well, we're going to need to bring fresh luck. water, right? So we need supplies uh, for this. Oh, shit, we need... Okay. We probably should have been gathering water. Uh, I'm I, sure... I, I, can, I, can, I can make water. You have no way of transporting uh, water. Transporting yeah, water is the problem. Issue. But as well, Sal just a, said... We need a, but he needs a little bit of fresh water, so we should at least bring, like a small beaker or something of fresh water so that there's a lot of like glass in here i'm sure that we can find an unbroken one right i mean if there's people on that boat there's got to be water on that boat too probably true, yeah okay yeah. yeah fuck it we'll do it live all right so i think we're yeah. all in the rowboat the sun is set the moon is in this or the moon is rising and uh at the optimal time light wise you know when it's darkest we tell archie to start rowing and start rowing, he will. Okay. He Why don't we uh, come back on the other side of a break and go get ourselves a ship? Oh, yeah.